Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I want to talk about a whole variety of things you can try when your new HomeKit device just won't add into Apple's Home app. I'm building my smart home over the last seven or eight years. I've used a lot of different smart home products. And I've got to a point where pretty much everything is added into my Apple Home app because that's the way I like to control things. It means I can control things with my phone, my watch, with Siri on my HomePod minis, and a whole variety of other ways around my house. And having everything in one place is fantastic, especially for automations and making things work with each other. And with Matter, there are even more products out there now that are compatible with Apple Home. However, sometimes you pick up a product and you just cannot get it to add into your home app. So in this video, I wanna talk about the things you can try if you cannot get a device to add into Apple Home. Now, number one on top of my list is to put your home Wi-Fi into 2.4 gigahertz mode. This is because a lot of smart home devices are only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and not five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which we typically have around our houses to help make sure everything runs nice and fast. Now, bizarrely, it's only ever at the pairing stage that it needs this, and once it's connected to your network, it doesn't matter if the 5 GHz network is running alongside the 2.4 GHz network. Now, how you switch your home Wi-Fi into 2.4 GHz mode will depend largely on your router, so I recommend Googling the name of your router and how to do it. For example, if you're on someone like Virgin Media, Google Virgin Media 2.4 GHz mode. If you need a password to access your router settings, the chances are that it's going to be on the bottom of your router. Now I use an Amazon Eero network so I get coverage all across my house and switching to 2.4 GHz mode in Amazon's Eero app is really easy. To do it you simply go into settings, troubleshooting and click my device won't connect. There you can press a button that puts your home network into 2.4 GHz mode for the next 10 minutes. Now if you're lucky that will have solved your issues and your HomeKit product will now be in your Apple Home. But if not, the second thing to ask is, is there a pairing mode? So a lot of devices have a particular mode where they are ready to connect to Apple Home. For example, I picked up a cheap Apple Home ceiling light recently, and to get it into pairing mode, you had to turn it on and off three times. This was just done by turning the light switch off and on again, and leaving it five seconds between. If you got something like a smart plug, quite often holding the button on the side of it for five seconds or until the light on it changes color or it makes a click is a way of making sure you can get that into pairing mode. Best way to find out how to reset your device or to get it into pairing mode is to read the instructions that came with it. Now the next thing to try if none of those work, and this is especially true for Amazon Eero users, is to check if the Apple Home integration is on on your Amazon Eero router. Now for some reason the HomeKit integration for Eero actually causes a lot of issues with pairing devices. That means if you do use an Eero and your device will not connect even after the first two steps, you're going to want to go back into the Eero app, you're going to want to go into settings, network settings, and then you're going to want to choose Apple HomeKit and switch that off. Now, much like everything else I've said so far, you only need to do that while you're pairing your device, so you can switch it back on afterwards. Now, if all of the above has failed, then number four is gonna be the next thing to try. And that is going to be to restart your network and also turn your phone off and on again. Now, remember when you restart your network, if you have switched it into 2.4 gigahertz mode, you are probably gonna to need to do that again. Alongside that, you're also gonna to want to turn off and on your new device as well. I have found several times that restarting the iPhone seems to clear something like the HomeKit cache, and that helps get it ready to pair again. Number five, if none of those things work, then it is time to Google your product. The chances are someone has had the issues that you've had before that haven't been resolved by the four things that I've talked about in this video, and they've probably shared on somewhere like Reddit how to fix it. If it isn't anything specific for your product, then you might just wanna Google a bit broader, such as smart home plug won't pair, not just the manufacturer. So there you go, my five things you need to do if you are struggling to get something into the Apple Home app. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will try and help you guys out as well. I do always reply to comments and try and help out where I can. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. I've also got a link below to tech that I use in my smart home. If you want to follow that and check out what I use, all of those things are pretty much HomeKit compatible in one way, shape or form. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon.